Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather and happy 4th of July week. Now today we're gonna do something fantastic and I think it's fantastic because all of my kids growing up, I made a recipe called Kahlua pork. Traditionally, it is made in a crock pot for 12 hours overnight and it is fantastic. However, every time I made this, we loved it so much, but I would not get any sleep the night before. And why is that? Because for 12 hours, the scent of Kahlua pork permeated every part of my house. I would literally wake up in the middle of the night with hunger pangs because I could smell it and I wanted it so, so very much. I actually resorted to putting my crock pot in the garage while it cooked. Now I'm in Texas now and ain't nothing going in that garage, but I digress. We're actually not going to make it in our crock pot. No, we are going to make it in our pressure cooker. Now, the reason I wanna try it in my pressure cooker is for the two reasons that you can probably think of. The first reason is it's gonna take a 12th of the time. Instead of 12 hours to do this, it's gonna take one, which means that I can decide to do Kahlua pork and have it done for dinner, like because I don't always plan very well. And number two, it's not going to permeate my whole house and make me wake up all night long longing for it to be dinner time. Do you know what I'm saying? So these two reasons and these two reasons alone, we're gonna try it in our Instant Pot. And I'm gonna let you know if this is valid and what I think the differences are between what I know Kahlua pork to be in the crock pot and now what it will be in the Instant Pot. So if you are ready for this adventure and you want to do this adventure with me, you're gonna need three ingredients a pork butt or a pork shoulder or something like that, some Hawaiian sea salt. Okay, I have friends in Hawaii who have graciously hooked me up with some sea salt from Hawaii, so I'm actually going to use it, but if you don't have Hawaiian sea salt, you can still make this, just use regular sea salt, okay? You're also gonna need some liquid smoke. You ready for this? My mouth is already watering because it's been a hot minute since I made some Kahlua pork, but now is the time, let's go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a half a cup of water down inside your Instant Pot. And the reason for that is the Instant Pot needs water in order to come to pressure. So unlike the crock pot recipe, the addition is that half a cup of water. Next, we are gonna cut this humongous pork butt into some chunks to go inside this pot. And the reason is because it doesn't really fit inside there. I mean, I suppose it might fit, but I would just rather it be in some chunks. So I'm just gonna take my super sharp knife. I'm gonna find where my bone is. So my bone is here, and I am going to run my knife alongside the bone and just see if I can debone this. And I should be able to debone it pretty easily. There we go. And the other side. My knife's gonna have problems getting in that section right there, but we'll get it done. Helps to have a very sharp knife and that bone's a little, a little long. So let's see if we can open it up like this. So the bone goes to like right there. So let's just, let's do this. Last bit of cutting here and boom. Bone is out. now. When you uh, take this out, don't throw it away, save it for stock. And I thought I felt another bone in here. Hold on, let's just check. Oh yeah, there is some bone that they left on the rib. So there's a couple rib bones right over here that I'll just casually trim off. See that? Two little rib bones. Probably because a machine trimmed this up, which is fine. Okay, so let's just cut this into a couple of large chunks. Um, you could also go ahead and trim off this fat cap if you want, but I'm gonna leave it on because that is the part that's gonna be down on the pan itself. All right, so here we have our two pieces and our leftover pork for stock later. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it salted with my 
Hawaiian sea salt. Now they have several types of uh, Hawaiian sea salt. I just have the regular Hawaiian sea salt. Um, there's red, there's black, this is just a white one. So we're just gonna sprinkle the salt and it's a coarse salt. Um, we're gonna sprinkle it all over and then we're gonna massage it in a little bit, turn it on its side, sprinkle some more. Cause this is, this is pretty much the, the, the flavor is salted pork. That's what Kahlua pork is, of course, with the liquid smoke. All right, and once you've ensured that you have plenty of salt on your pork, we're gonna get it fat cap down into our instant pot, right into the water. And then we're gonna take our other piece and we're just gonna uh, nestle it fat cap down again right up next to it. So this is what it looks like. All right, now we're gonna take a tablespoon of liquid smoke, but let me go ahead and wash my hands. Now we're gonna put about a tablespoon of liquid smoke down into this pot. Um, some individuals say that they just pour the whole bottle of liquid smoke into there. Um, I think that's a little bit overkill. So I'm just gonna use about a tablespoon, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. So we're just gonna eyeball about one tablespoon of liquid smoke. And now our lid is gonna go on. We're gonna make sure it's on sealing, and then we are gonna do pressure cook for 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half. All right, and there we go. All right, once this comes to pressure and the time is up, we're gonna let this natural pressure release for 20 minutes. Okay, it's actually been about 30 minutes since my pot has finished and come out of pressure. So it's natural pressure releasing for that much time. I forgot to mention that if you like your Hawaiian uh, Kahlua pork with cabbage, you definitely need a head of cabbage. So I have my cabbage here. I'm just gonna cut it up so that as soon as I release the pressure, I can get in for about one more minute. Um, under pressure. So I'm just going to cut it into bite-sized pieces for inside my pot. All right, and then I'll just run it through one way on this side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna release the pressure here. And as soon as the pressure is released, I'm gonna get the cabbage in. I may actually remove the meat first, then get the cabbage in because there's not gonna be a lot of room in that pot, but at least all the juices will cook up this cabbage in one minute under pressure. So open up the Instant Pot, looks fantastic in there. I think this will all fit in there with it. So I'm just gonna put it right in over the top of our meat for the moment. Hindsight's 2020. I probably should have taken the meat out because now I'm like, whoa, probably should take the meat out, okay. Smells delicious though, and it is very tender. So I'm gonna try really hard to get it out of the pot. Wow, we, okay, don't do what I did. Now we are gonna get our cabbage into the pot. We are gonna set the pot for one minute, and that should not take much longer than about five minutes, because everything, oh, oh, everything in that pot is already so, so hot. Um, it shouldn't, shouldn't take too, too long to come to pressure, but let's check out this meat. Um, I'm gonna actually put it back in the pot once the everything is done and we're gonna kind of serve it up like that. But let's get the, oh, it is falling apart tender. Look at this. Oh uh, my goodness. And the flavor of this, this is worth it. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm. Oh, dinner is gonna be divine. Okay, so let me just go ahead and cut this into some pieces so that it's a little more manageable because this was a huge, huge pork roast. And I'm gonna see if there's any of those fatty bits. Remember, most of it has melted, but I can still see a little bit of it here and there. So I'm gonna try to prevent that from going on someone's plate, that's just fat right there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, so I think while we're waiting for the cabbage to be done, I will put this in a little warming container 
All right, so this is the insulated serving dish from Pampered Chef, and it is gonna help keep our meat warm until we can get it all back into the pot again. And oh my, did you see that? We can just push, just push it, and it just falls apart. I could use forks instead of this knife and it would just fall apart. Now, I will tell you already, after just tasting the little bit that I've tasted, that I will probably forever do my Kahlua pork in the Instant Pot because that was quick, it was easy, I didn't wake up in the middle of the night starving because you can smell it all throughout the house. So this is amazing. Julie, if you're watching this, Julie grew up in Hawaii and she grew up eating Kahlua pork from the crock pot. Girl, you gotta try it in Instant Pot. All right, so that's the fatty bits. I'm gonna put those in a different dish. Let's find the lid. We'll cover it. See the cute little lid so that that can stay warm. And I'm going to throw away these fatty bits and I will be back whenever that's ready to all come together in one delicious meal. All right, be right back. Okay, it's done. We're going to release the pressure immediately. All right. And now we are going to transfer the cabbage to another bowl so that we can get the meat back in so that it can keep warm when serving. But look at this cabbage, you ready? Delicious. Oop, and there's a piece of that fat. Well, I'll just set it on the plate for right now so that I can get it on out of here. If you're not a fan of cabbage, you definitely can skip this step. All right, and now as much as the cabbage is out that it can, I will shut that for just a moment and we're gonna add this meat back to the pot and then it's time to serve. So let's go slowly so we don't make a big splash. Oh yeah. Okay, so if you have never had Kahlua pork, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to make sure we don't get any of those fat bits, but we are going to pile some cabbage onto the plate and then we are gonna take our beautiful Kahlua pork and put it next to it on top all the places. Oh man, look at how beautiful that looks. Now, there are some people who like to put a little crispiness on their pork and so they'll put it under the broiler for a couple minutes to crisp up the edges of the pork, but we don't like to dry out our pork here at this house. We just like it just like it is. And if you're a little extra like I tend to be, you can finish it off with a few caramelized pineapple slices just to give it a little bit extra something something. Usually I use pineapple rings, but I didn't have them today. So pineapple chunks it is, but they are nice and caramelized. And to caramelize them, I just put them in the pan for probably about three minutes and just let them sit there and caramelize. Um, and then last but not least, we are gonna sprinkle it with some crushed red pepper and then you guys, our Kahlua pork in the Instant Pot is ready. Made in a 10th of the time, maybe even a 12th of the time. And oh my goodness, it's delicious. Look at that. All right, now since I've already tasted it, but I wanna taste it again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Because delicious. All right, little piece of pork, little piece of cabbage, Oh my goodness. Mm. And because of all the salt we used on the pork at the beginning, the cabbage doesn't even need any extra seasoning. Oh my gosh. And then you eat a bite with a little bit of pineapple and it gives it that perfect acidity. Hold on. Hmm. Mm. If you've never made Kahlua pork before, now is your time. You can either do it in a crock pot and it'll take 12 hours and it'll wake you up in the middle of the night or you can make this and it is amazing in just a fraction of the time. Probably it took two hours total from start to finish to get this Kahlua pork on the table. You guys, win, 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 win. I love adventures that make my life easier because this one, this one did. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. So if you have one for me, leave it in the comments below. If you wanna know 
If something you've always done in the crock pot is okay in the instant pot or the air fryer, ask. And I would love to consider doing that for my next adventure. But otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.